Like it's a disgusting sight, all the webbing across trees all across the metro. Some tree farms have told Fox 25 it is an epidemic this year. Tonight, we have some answers and things you can do to keep your yard in shape. Fox 25's Bill Shammer is live with the details for us. Bill. Mike and Wendy, not even our own backyard here at Fox 25 is immune. There's no sugar coating it. The web worms are bad this year. Inside of this netting, take a look at all of these caterpillars. They are causing a lot of damage in a lot of places. This year's been pretty, pretty bad. Dr. Tom Royer hasn't seen anything like it in two decades. They've really, really torn this tree up pretty heavy. You'd think this tree was starting to take winter form, but it's mid-July. This is an orange-headed race. The Oklahoma State professor says it's a webworm infestation. Drive down any street, and it's hard to find a neighborhood that hasn't fallen victim. You'll find it on pecans first before just about any other tree. Inside these webs, tiny caterpillars that number in the thousands. Here's a wasp that's trying to get in there to, because they're predators, they'll, they'll feed on these things. The webbing is a form of protection. Here's a, here's a bunch of them right here. It's a byproduct of a perfect spring. It's got rains at the right time, but it hasn't been overwhelming. Uh, they just were able to explode. But if this is what your tree looks like at home, listen up. The first thing I would I would tell you is that you don't need to panic. The best way to clean up a tree, don't think too hard, just head to your garage, grab a rake, come back outside, and start scraping. There are also pesticides you can use, but keep one thing in mind. You have to spray hard enough to break through the webbing and soak the branches. When they come out and feed on it, 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 it um, paralyzes their, their gut and they die. The caterpillars will grow and feed for five to six weeks before falling off, cocooning and preparing for their next adventure as a moth. But unless your tree is brand new, don't fret. They can easily recover from even something as serious as that defoliation within a year. And I wanted to show you this while we're out here. Nature at its finest. This is how uh, tough that webbing is. A bee caught in a trap there. Again, you can use pesticides to take care of this. We'll have all of those management details on our website, okcfox.com. Reporting live just outside the Fox 25 studios, Bill Shammert, Fox 25 News.